right, and we're back to this. And um, let's see, working on her hair, making it look nice and blue. And what you can do a lot too with the uh, thickening up the colors is using the like, color to shadow it a little bit, which is always a nice little touch. And it helps with when you're penning and inking, it'll almost guide you through that shading process on that, which is cool. Either that or I'm just talking through my hoo-hoo. And so. Hopefully you can see, yeah, you can see what I'm doing, cool. All right, I don't, I don't wanna work on something like down in the corner over here, then you're not seeing it, and then boring. I don't know, lighting probably is just terrible though, right now. now. I apologize, I will try to get some better lighting, but right now all I have is, I have plenty of Christmas lights. But that doesn't do much. Uh, I have this one bright bulb, and that's uh, that's about it. Budget, yeah. All right, I'm gonna switch a brush. This one's too thick. You can see, boom, shadow silhouette of it. Um, I'm gonna go for slightly s smaller. Get in more details into the hair. Uh, probably gonna go a darker blue. Uh, let's see what we're doing. Yeah. That looks a lot better, I think. Boom. That'll make that pop out a lot better. And the watercolor is starting to splooge on itself. Okay. By splooge, it's not splooching, but it's doing that little thing where it blends into each other. And I try not to do that too much, but I mean, it's, it's watercolor. It happens. It'll continue to happen. It's watercolor. But uh, as long as her face and the outline, like the dress and stuff, uh, looks good. We're, we're golden. Because that's the moneymaker. No. Um... That's that's the main focus, so I mean, right. if it blends in together, I mean it might add a cool effect. I mean, or not effect, but you know, just I'm looking at it a bit nicer. We'll blend this together. Then I'll make it look more like hair later on with the pen and ink. Because right now you can't do much with watercolor. Well you can, I'm sure. I've seen a lot of people get really detailed with just crazy and awesome good for you I'm jealous but uh, I cannot do that this is as detailed as I get I get like the basic outlines uh, and just the shading make it make it look somewhat thoughtful. I don't know I'm illustrating it as best as I can But yeah, let me know if you want me to continue on these or if you want me to work on like uh, an oil painting, something like that. I would be happy to. Um, this one is so far just got dang it go. It's not painting. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to keep this one as simplistic as possible. I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I don't want to make an hour long movie about some watercolor and me babbling on about anything like that. Boom. There we go. Boom. Hair is pretty much done. 
Voila. She looked pretty. Nice hair, if I do say so myself. Boom. Um, her crown. Her crown, you know, basic, simple, you know, gold work. I'm going to flip it upside down. Then let's zoom right there. Smaller. Now I'm gonna use this brush for now. Then you can darken it. But there's some gems on her head. So I'm gonna try to keep those out of gold. I guess you could say. Um I like to do a lot of freehand. Um, I rarely trace, or you know, not trace, but outline stuff with pencil. Uh, this is the only occasion, really, when I do outline with pencil, is when I'm working with watercolor. That way, I know what I'm planning with, or where I'm going with it, and I don't screw up. But with pen and ink, it's all freehand. Painting, usually, it's all freehand. Sometimes, you know, I'll guide it along like that, but. Um, yeah. Fun stuff, I mean. That's just preference. Uh, and pencil, I try not to do any stuff with pencil, because, honestly, I, I don't like pencil. I don't like graphite, I don't like charcoal. I'm jealous of people who can use it really well. I just can't, because it's messy, and it doesn't get the dark ink look. Boom. There we go. Boom. Crown's coming along. Eh. Um. Let's see. Let's get a nice red. Yeah, that looks good. Man, this might look kind of, I don't know, weird to begin with. Um, so, bear with me. It'll be better by the end of it, and I promise. Uh, also, random sound effects. Sorry. Um, there we go. Like it's not red enough. Go. No, just pop it out a little bit color wise. Uh, should I do the jewels red? Uh, they are now red. All right, I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. I'm gonna wash this one off real quick. There we go. Put that down. I keep forgetting. And jewels are very, are very uh, weird when it comes to lighting, so uh, I try diff different ways of coloring jewels and everything. And there was one artist, uh, I forgot, uh, I forgot his name, um, but I uh, looked and saw how he did them, and I. It, it worked for me, you know. Other people might do it differently. This is just the way I end up doing it. It uh, it works best for me, I guess. It's just adding those little bit like here. I mean, I have a jewel here. It's just you know a little glass thing. It's not really a jewel. Otherwise, I would have sold it and. <laughs> probably had a better lighting than this, but this is it's a glass I could probably you know, realistic, but I don't do realism 
very well. It's just not for me. Um. Oh, there we go. Boom! Look at that. So far, the crown, her hair, and the background. How's that look? Um. Let's see. Yeah, I got five minutes. Oh, so I'm gonna do her dress, or at least a little bit. And like, there we go. Um, so her dress. Let's go with like a nice green. Should we do green? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be green. I just mixed red with green. Ew, I made brown. Great. Huh. I kind of like the color. Win. Alright. Yeah, sometimes you get those accidental colors like that, and that's awesome. Love when it happens. Boom, boom, boom. That dress, it's green. She's turning into the hog. Let's see. Wow, did I just not capture, you know what, I'm going to zoom back out, because I keep getting it not where it should be. And, now her dress needs a little bit. More green here and there. Uh, let's go slightly darker green just to add a little bit more color and stuff. Alright, so, I don't know if you can see that, but, voila, she has her crown, her jewels, her dress, and her hair. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more things off camera before I do pen and ink, um, then uh, next video should be the part where I start inking up her face. Awesome. That sounded weird. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Thanks for watching.